average group of fellows in school, there's always someone who feels he is far from average. Someone who feels he's different. That's how it is with Jeff Carter. He thinks he bears a charmed life. Jeff will admit that he's average in many ways. He can miss a shot with the best or worst of them. He spends about the average length of time in front of a mirror. He has an average interest in girls. One in particular, Patricia. Pat for short. And he gives her an extraordinary amount of attention, which is also average. As Jeff looks ahead across the years to come, he figures that what happens to other people will also happen to him. Like the others, he'll graduate. Like them, he'll get a job. Like them, someday, maybe even get married. But when it comes to the unpleasant things that could happen, Jeff is somehow different. He's not like the others. He bears a charmed life. Pain, suffering, accidents, as far as Jeff is concerned, those are things that happen to other people, not to him. Well, it's nice to be different. People like Jeff don't have to think of the risks connected with what they do. They can concentrate on the pleasant side. Like the sight of these dancing sparks. If a fellow doesn't have to worry about danger, he can get closer to his work. He can look at the chips of brass that peel off the cylinder. Or the curls of steel that go shooting into space without being reminded constantly that those metal fragments are as sharp as they are shiny. And those pretty sparks dancing off the tool are actually particles of hot steel. They would sear the whites of any man's eyes. Except Jeff's, maybe. A fellow who's immune to danger can be a lot more comfortable. The rules in the chemistry laboratory call for safety glasses to be worn at all times. At all times may sound kind of sweeping, but how else can the eyes be protected? It's obvious that safety glasses are needed while acid is being poured. Or while an experiment is being performed. But how about the many times when nothing is being done that could conceivably harm oneself? These times, too, call for eye protection. Because one's neighbor might do some unexpected thing that causes the acid or hot liquids to splatter. But when a fellow's immune, he doesn't even have to listen. He just asks himself, whatever could go wrong here? as simple as mixing a malted and just about as dangerous. But the safest things have a way of turning ugly because of carelessness and circumstance. If the test tube is defective, as once in a great while it might be, it could shatter in the flame. tube is okay, but it's heated a bit carelessly, the hot liquid could spurt and do damage. Who knows? Jeff, look out! 
happened to Jeff? Time seems to stand still. At this moment, nobody knows any of the answers, and only the question remains. What happened to Jeff Carter? Could it have been something that leads to this? Is this Jeff's future? Is this where a fellow's luck and his eyesight finally run out? Is this where he realizes that a moment of carelessness can last a lifetime? Is this where it suddenly makes no sense to entrust two of the most precious things he has, his eyes, to a myth of immunity? Is this the choice Jeff has made? Has he closed his eyes forever to all those things that add up to fun and excitement and make living more enjoyable? shut out forever. Is this the charmed life? Those are the questions. How about the answer? What did happen to Jeff? Let's go back to the experiment and see. happened to Jeff was fortunate. He trusted in safety the very instant he could no longer trust in immunity. Plenty of others besides Jeff have learned there's only one foolproof defense. Always to be ready for the unexpected. if the glasses had not been there to block the damage. Others besides Jeff reached the conclusion that having the right skills and the right reflexes is not enough. You also need the right protection against the one thing that never could go wrong, but too often does. Molten steel left this signature. Imagine if the shield had not been there to block the damage. Looks so cheerful, 
but those sparks move with blinding force. So it makes sense to let the goggles take the punishment, not the eyes. Because of what happened to Jeff, the others in his school took a fresh look at themselves. If the unexpected should happen again, as it could at almost any time, they'd be prepared because they'd be protected. Jeff proved pretty convincingly that acting as if you owned a charmed life could result in the loss of what charm you had. Glasses, wise guy. their choice. Each one of them cast a silent vote in favor of glasses at all times. You might say the eyes had it. How about you?